Good afternoon to you. Mark Settle, HurricaneTrack.com here. I want to do a quick update, off-season discussion on subtropical depression one. A lot of talk about it on social media and some of it pretty negative towards the National Hurricane Center. And I want to address that a little bit, kind of educate you on exactly what this means and discuss the implications, which let me give you a hint, there pretty much are none for the future and the rest of the hurricane season. So let's get rid of me and I'll show you what we have here. Subtropical Depression 1. What does that mean exactly? Well, we're going to go over that in just a moment. Right now, the winds are about 35 miles per hour, and that's going to be pretty well removed from the center, and that's part of the makeup of a subtropical system. Pressure 995 millibars, and it's located out in the central Atlantic between the Azores islands and the island of Bermuda. There's Bermuda, here are the Azores, and here's our depression. And what exactly does it mean? Well, first of all, um, it is non-tropical. So this is the area that we're going to focus on. This is the definition. A non-frontal low pressure system that has characteristics of both tropical and extra tropical cyclones. Like tropical cyclones, they are non-frontal synoptic scale cyclones that originate over tropical or subtropical waters. And they have a closed surface wind circulation about a well-defined center, and this system has that. And they have organized moderate to deep convection. This system has that. But very important here, they lack a well-organized central dense overcast. So they're different, okay? They're they're, the ace points, if this were to generate any, well, it won't because subtropical storms do not count towards the seasonal accumulated cyclone energy. At least I don't think they do. I'm pretty sure of that. Um, and also, unlike tropical cyclones, subtropical cyclones derive a significant proportion of their energy from baroclinic sources. All right? And so this is where it kind of... It upsets me a little bit because there's a couple of people really giving the Hurricane Center a hard time on Twitter, especially, and on their own site about this, uh, saying that it's ridiculous, it shouldn't be named, it's a waste of time, it's much ado about nothing. It fits the exact definition of a subtropical cyclone. So what's the problem? Nobody's making a big deal about this except the people that are upset about it and that are constantly tweeting about it. it. just I'm like, hey, if it's no big deal, shut up about it. It's right there, the Hurricane Center's definition. And it's not like they went in and made this definition up today to match what's happening out there in the real world. This has been around for quite a while. They started naming subtropical storms in 2002 and recognizing them um, probably 30 years before that or so, I think in the early 70s. So uh, this is really, it. come on, you know, it matches exactly what the definition shows. Uh, and if we look at it here on the satellite picture, you can see that very easily. This is it. It lacks that central dense overcast. It does not have spiral banding and a nice, well-developed CDO right here. Uh, but it does have the organized, scattered, deep to moderate convection. I guess you would say moderate to deep, going from you know lesser to more. Uh, it has a pretty well-organized, low-level center, but the energy is spread ar uh, away from that center. It's not concentrated and bundled. How many times do you hear me talk about that in my updates during the hurricane season, that tropical cyclones like to bundle that heat energy around that warm core? This is deriving most of its energy from the atmosphere around it and not so much the water uh, itself. You know, water temperatures out here are about 70 to 71 degrees or so. And so it, it's perfect. It matches the definition of a subtropical cyclone. And why have uh, this advisory? Well, marine interests, you know, it's sitting out here on the charts. It gets picked up in shipping reports. It's just something, it's part of the responsibility, my goodness, of the National Hurricane Center. And it does not mean anything in terms of what the upcoming hurricane season may or may not bring. And uh, it's not even forecast at this point to become a subtropical storm, which if it did, it would get the name Arlene. And I don't even think that's going to happen unless it surprises us. But even if it does, 
again, it's part of their area of responsibility, and the National Hurricane Center is doing exactly what this definition right here suggests, uh, and it's spot on. I, I don't have any argument whatsoever, and even if I did, you know, who am I? I'm just, I'm just a guy with a website who goes into hurricanes, right? Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to bring that up, just kind of talk about it a little bit. And why doesn't it really matter much for the upcoming hurricane season? Well, again, it formed from baroclinic or uh, non-tropical processes, the atmosphere and the energy within the atmosphere sort of setting this off, coming from mid-latitude energy instead of coming out of the deep tropics. Now, if we saw somewhere down in the main development region, a tropical wave develop into a tropical storm that looks like a classic tropical storm or became a hurricane in April, that would be different. And we would be pretty concerned about that. You know, like, whoa, what's happening here? But this is an interesting, fairly rare, but not completely unprecedented occurrence. And it really is no big deal. So for those of you that are upset about it, the Hurricane Center is doing exactly what they are supposed to do. So just relax and wait until the real hurricane season gets here, and then we can get excited about stuff for good or for bad. All right? So that's it for me for today. Nothing else to really to, uh, to talk about. Um, an interesting entity out there and nothing more. Have a good rest of your Wednesday. I forgot to date this at the beginning. Uh, so, yeah, this is for the 19th of April. Anyway, I'm Mark Suttoth for HurricaneTrack.com. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll be back on Monday with a uh, look at the weekly outlook and discussion at that point. Thanks for tuning in. I'll talk to you early next week.